I'm Brian Parks from Belimo Technical Support. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the fail position on your NEMA 4 AFX or NFX spring return damper actuator. Unless otherwise specified, the factory default is fail open, which means that the spring unwinds counterclockwise when power is lost. If you know that you want the damper to shaft to rotate fully clockwise upon loss of power, please specify fail closed when ordering. If you look on the face of the case here, you'll see this is an AFX 24N4, which means NEMA 4, and it comes from the factory set for counterclockwise. So that means on a loss of power, this actuator is going to rotate in a counterclockwise position. First thing that you need to do, there are six Phillips head screws that are holding the cover on. I've already loosened those. I'm going to take off the cover. I'm going to set it to the side. First thing I'm going to do is take the indicator, set it to the side. Next thing I'm going to do is remove this silver clip. I'm going to remove this black retaining clip, set that to the side. I'm going to remove the indicator ring. I can remove the crank handle, set that to the side. And then I'm going to remove the end stop, which is a Phillips screwdriver, it's required. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this actuator over. And if you notice, the U-bolt right now is pointing down to this hole, to this portion of the mounting bracket. I'm going to pull this straight out, set it to the side. If you notice on the face here, it says counterclockwise, same as it does on the case. On the bottom of the actuator, there is an anti-rotation pin. I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to rotate and spin the actuator over. I'm going to get the mounting bracket on the bottom onto this anti-rotation pin. And now I'm going to flip the actuator back over. When I reinstall this mounting bracket, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the U-bolt to this corner. Previously it was pointing over here, so now I'm going to point to this portion of the mounting bracket. I'm going to flip it back over, and one of the key points is to make sure that these two pins are lined up with the mounting bracket that's under the actuator. I'm now going to reassemble it. You also notice here it says clockwise, so the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put this anti-rotation ring back on. I can put the end stop on. I'm going to take this large retaining clip, the silver one, and there is a little bit of a groove cut in the face. You should see that sticking out. The next thing I'm going to do is take the black retaining clip, I'm going to slide that in by hand, pretty easy to do. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this indicator, I'm going to just gently place it in there. I'm going to take the crank handle, put it back in the body, put the cover back on. Now, one bit of advice would be take a label maker and change this from counterclockwise to read clockwise or you could take a, a Sharpie marker and write it on there so that the next person that comes along knows that you have changed the fail position of the actuator. Thanks for watching the video today. If you have any questions, please call Belimo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038 or go to the Belimo website at www.belimo.us. Be sure to like the video and please subscribe to the Belimo YouTube channel.